everybody. My name is Total Nerd Status 2.0, and uh, I am with Scream with me, and we're going to be talking about Star Wars, our opinions, uh, what we liked, maybe even what we didn't like, and uh, all that fun stuff. Because we did uh, we did this with uh, Age of Ultron, and that podcast was fun. So, yeah, Star Wars: First Impressions, Force Awakens. If that was unclear, it was bonerific. Made my lightsaber just pop out. <laughs> <laughs> what was your? Uh, who was your favorite character? Oh man, I definitely have a favorite character. I think my favorite character would have been um, what is his name? The black guy. Finn. Finn. That's right. Finn. Yeah. It just it took a different turn because uh, he started off as a stormtrooper. He was just supposed to follow orders, and his like his whole thing was to be. A cl- he was cloned. He was mm-hmm. like genetically made to follow orders, and he just threw it out the window. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. He's like, "Oh God, I don't like this." So Someone I thought that just, killed. I thought that just made him pretty good. Yeah. Plus, I everyone expected him to be the Jedi and everything, and he kind of played a little part of it too. So yeah, the first uh, I told you this, but the first time uh, Finn ignited the lightsaber. Like, you, 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 you never hear a lightsaber. I mean, you might hear, like, Kylo Ren's or something like that, but the first time that uh, Anakin's or Luke's uh, lightsaber was ignited, it was just so... It sounded like thunder. You know, it was like... And it was just... It was beautiful. Gave me goosebumps. But um, I liked Finn, but my favorite character was definitely Rey because I liked the fact that she knew what she was doing. Like, she, she spent a lot of her life on... What's that? Is that play? Is that Tatooine? Juco. Oh, Ju- J- Jakku? Jakku, yeah. <laughs> <We're> close. <laughs> yeah, she spent most of her life on that planet, and she's been building stuff, and, you know, there's like a destroyed, uh, like a wrecked Star, Star Destroyer, Destroyer and, and stuff like that, and she's been inside those ships, and she spent years and years taking parts and selling them, so she knows what she's doing, and she knows her way around most ships, and I really like that because it helped the story in most uh, circumstances, like she's a good pilot and everything like that, but at the same time, nobody expected her to be the Jedi because everything hinted at Finn being the Jedi, but she ended up being the Jedi, spoiler alert, and it was it was just great how they handled that. I like uh, the lightsaber fight scenes like in the forest and stuff, because it seemed like they weren't choreographed, or they made it seem like it wasn't choreographed. It was just very rough, and you could tell that she's never wielded a lightsaber before. Like, all she uses is a staff, because she wasn't doing this. You know, she was doing a lot of that motion as if she was using the staff, so that's what she's used to, mm-hmm. and I like that. A new meme that's starting uh, is that one stormtrooper with that shocking thing that fir- that attacks uh, Finn. When he first ignites the lightsaber. Oh yeah. So that's that's starting. It's it's everywhere. It's just traitor. <laughs> it's great. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah. Figured out. Uh, figured that out. <laughs> uh, didn't like Kylo Ren. He just his whole background didn't fit the storyline. Like Anakin. Anakin had a great messed up past. He was he was just one bundle of fucked up. <laughs> But Kylo Ren seemed like he had just, like, a shit ton of daddy issues. That's like he was just a spoiled brat, kind of. Yeah. But that's I think that's what I liked about him. Because he's, like, he's trying to live up. Like, he knows that he's supposed to be the head Sith. And he knows that he's supposed to follow in his uh, grandfather's footsteps, which is Darth Vader. Well, no, 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 no. But, but he doesn't want to. Like, here's the thing. I you have attention. it completely backwards. No, no, he, listen. No, 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 no. <laughs> Fine, you talk. I'll prove you wrong. He wanted to be like his grandfather, Darth Vader. Yeah. He, that's what he wanted. He mm-hmm. wants to be evil. Yeah, he but he wanted to use the dark that's, side. He can't, that's what I'm saying. He can't though. He's got too much of Han Solo, his dad, in him. That's what I was he trying to too, say. You had it backwards. No, okay. We what, haven't what, what, what I said was that he 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 knows that he has to live up to his grandfather but at the same time there's a part of him that doesn't want to and it's just it's it's a self conflict and i love his little tantrums <laughs> like when he just goes full 
full Darth Vader, like full Anakin, and just starts like slashing at the motherboard. I just, <laughs> it's I just feel like it was just overplayed. Like, oh, Darth Vader would have done this at this moment, so I have to do it. And if I don't do it, I'll look weird. I feel like it was just, it was forced, and it wasn't really forced. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, like it, like you know how when you get angry, sometimes you just you hit a wall or you just yell or something. Mm-hmm. You don't think about it. I feel like he had to think about it. What do you mean? Like, it wasn't a natural reaction for him. Well, yeah. Because he had to think about what his grandfather would have done. Yeah, like... Yeah. He's he's playing a part he shouldn't play. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like about him. Because <laughs> he seems like... And at the same time, he, you can tell he's powerful. Because at the beginning, he stops that blast midair. Like he, 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 yeah, he shoots. He's just like, cool. and then like five minutes later, it just like is, he releases it and it hits the. So you know he's powerful, but you can also tell that he hasn't really faced anyone face to face, like lightsaber wise, for a while. And, or at all. <laughs> and you can tell he's he's not that well trained because as soon as he goes up against Finn, he beats Finn fairly easily. He cheated. But then, dirty cheater. but then he goes up against Ray, who actually has knowledge of the Force, and he just gets annihilated. And uh, so you can tell that he is powerful, but he hasn't had the proper training. And so that's when uh, Snoke comes in, like the big guy, and he's gonna finish his training. And I think in Episode Eight, he's gonna come back like more badass, more trained, and he's gonna he's gonna wreck some stuff. And he's going to have that scar across his face that Ray gave him. <laughs> Just like Anakin. He's going to have that huge scar across his face. Anakin never had a scar across he his face. He had a scar on his eyes right here. He went like... I don't know. I don't remember what it's from, but he had a scar. Don't tell me. But, um... So I liked Kylo Ren, how he was. And, uh... Are we not going to talk about how old Luke looks like the old Obi-Wan Kenobi? I did. That threw me for a loop. I was like, what? <laughs> I thought it was the old Obi-Wan Kenobi. I was like, this is not what you promised me. No, I, I, I didn't notice that at all. I, I saw Luke, like, immediately. And it's just the beard made him look wise. And he was beautiful. I do think it would have been a little bit better if the final shot of the movie, instead of doing, like, the pan shot showing... Ray and Luke just looking at each other. I think it would have been awesome if Luke had stared back at Ray and then reached out his hand and then like sucked the lightsaber into his hand and ignited it and then roll credits. No. I think that would have been a little bit cool. The reason why they left it like that was because he was deciding whether or not to take her on as a student. Because mm. he's responsible Cause he, for Kylo Ren. He feels responsible for it. Yeah. He feels as he failed. So and that's why he left. Was because he went to go search for the first Jedi Temple to go start back from scratch. Mm-hmm. See what he could do. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why he was secluded on that island. He didn't want anyone to find him. Mm-hmm. And lo and behold, this chick comes like... <laughs> so who do you think Rey is? I mean, like, she's a Jedi, so she's bloodline. Ugh. Who do you think... Cause there, I've heard a theory out there that know. I actually, bl- I don't think she's Luke's, I don't know and I don't think be. she's Han Solo's. She definitely so wouldn't be. What if she was a Kenobi? What if she's like the granddaughter of Obi Wan Kenobi, mm. and she was like left behind? Because I've heard that theory, no. and that's probably the most believable. In what my I eyes. what I think is, it's no, I don't think it's anyone we know because um, there was this one scene where she gets left on Jakku. Just like um, Luke was left on Tatooine mm-hmm. by Obi Wan Kenobi, I guarantee you her parents were Jedi's and went to go to um, Luke to train and learn the ways of the Force, mm-hmm. but were killed, and that's why they never came back. Like by Kylo Ren or something. Yeah. So we don't even know. Because Kylo parents. Kylo Ren, there was this one scene where she first re- uses the Force, where she gets those visions from touching the lightsaber, mm-hmm. and Kylo Ren is just chopping people down yeah <laughs> yeah i remember that so i think i think they're just two separate jedis okay for not not related to anyone we know hmm okay that's interesting so 
Uh, I've also heard a, and I don't believe this because I know the whole history, at least as far as prequels go, um, that that Snoke character, who's like, you know, the, the ultimate all-knowing thing that Kylo Ren looked up to, uh, I've heard a rumor or a theory that he is uh, Darth Plagueis. Which was the master of Sidious, who was the master of Darth Vader. So he's like, you know, the ultimate thing. But the thing is, in episode three, Sidious told the story of Plagueis, which was uh, his master, and Plagueis was killed in his sleep. So unless that hologram was of him and he's like not a real person and that's like his spirit or whatever, then that would make sense. But there's no way he's still alive. Are you talking about the big guy? Yeah. Um, uh, Skull or whatever his name was? Snoke, I think. Snoke? Yeah. yeah. So I don't think that's true, because as far as I know, Plagueis is dead. Well, Plagueis' body is dead. And when Plagueis had the power, he could influence the midi-chlorians so much that he could live on forever. No, 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 no. He so could revive... No, like, no, he could... Just like the other Jedi. Their body is dead and it got burned. But they can still communicate with other Jedi. Yeah, but that wasn't realm. that wasn't his power. His power was that he could he could bring people back from the dead, but he well, couldn't bring himself back from the dead. He's just like the other Jedi. The other Jedi, Obi Wan. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Anakin, that's the only way he could be. Communicating with the spirit. And that's I know. What he is. Did, you, did you see the movie yet? Yeah, but that's not. Yeah. That's well, a that's hologram. That's a hologram, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think that theory, I don't think he is Plagueis because he wouldn't be able to do anything except communicate with Kylo Ren. And I feel like they're going to use him in episode 8 or even 9, like in the future films, when Kylo Ren is eventually defeated. And they won't be able to do that if he's just a spirit. You know, they wouldn't be able to battle a spirit. So I think, I think that theory is false. I think what Snoke is a completely different guy. Jedi? They wouldn't be able to battle with him because they're just spirits. They can't do anything. They're just there to guide, but they can't do anything. I think only um, the people that can use the Force, like that actually have the Force, could actually only see them. Mm -hmm. Because I'm pretty sure, like in Episode Six, where um they're all where they're burning Darth Vader's body, and uh, it shows Obi Wan, Yoda, and Anakin, mm -hmm. and how Luke can only see them. Yeah. At least I think it was only Luke. It's been a while since I've seen it. But um only like Luke saw them, but like no one else like paid any attention to it or anything. Yeah. I think only people that use the force can see it. That would make sense. So I think Snoke is just a completely different like dude. I don't think he's any correlate. I think he's just a new guy who we haven't heard of up until this point. And he's just like the master of Kylo Ren that Kylo Ren was guided to after he, uh, you know, he influenced uh, Ben Solo to come to the dark side and annihilate all those younglings and then become Kylo Ren. So I don't, I don't think we've heard of him. I think he's just a new guy. Um, uh, can't, I can't remember um, if it was either Kylo or Ren. Yeah, the Knights of Ren. Mm-hmm. So Kylo isn't the only one. There's like a ton of other ones. Mm -hmm. He's just like the main dude. And it's it's kind of weird because if you think about it, it's kind of like the uh, Knights of the Round Table. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, and even his lightsaber was like a giant great sword. Because like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, the things like stuck out like that. Yeah, the cross and, guards yeah. and stuff. Oh, so. man. the One of the coolest parts was the lightsaber fight between uh, Kylo Ren and Finn. Where they're like he he gets the yeah. uh, the lightsaber and then it just like burns into his shoulder. That was cool. <laughs> I didn't like how weak the lightsaber seemed. Like if you if you noticed, um, like back then the lightsabers were like if you got cut you were just done. You were just oh, I dead. know what you mean, and, and it just kind of like sliced. Yeah, it was I more think... like a blade instead of like. I've been thinking about that, and I like it, and I think it was only like that because only, like, the tip of the lightsaber just barely, like, scratched. So kind of like if you, if you yeah. took, like, a frame. I, I don't think the whole blade just kind of, like, bounced off. 
I think it was just like the tip, like he backed off enough, but it still grazed him. Yeah, and I, I don't know. It just it, it seemed like light lightsaber is the most powerful weapon in the galaxy, mm-hmm. and it just kind of got downplayed. Yeah. Um. How, what did, what did you think about Han Solo's death? Did you think it was necessary? No. But um, me and my dad were talking about that, and Han uh. Harrison Ford broke his leg on set, but uh, before then he was like, I can probably come back for one more movie, and he did. So it was kind of, it was kind. Of, in the end, it was necessary. I didn't feel like it was necessary. I feel like he should have just kept going until he died on set, but. You know, I heard a rumor that, Han so- that Harrison Ford actually wanted Han Solo to die in Return of the Jedi, hmm. but they decided not to, and so now he's in The Force Awakens. I thought that it was necessary just because of his old age and you know just think if they were filming episode eight and they filmed like one scene with him or half of his scenes and then he died and then they would have to spend five years digitally recreating him like they did with uh the guy from fast and furious yeah so i think it was better to kill him off now and i think it it had more of a emotional impact oh killing him God, off now is. I love the scene that they did for killing him off, though. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was a good death. It was like face-to-face with his son, and his son, you know, they were holding the the lightsaber as if he was handing it over, and the next thing you know, it's just... <laughs> yeah, it, it, was a, it was a good death. They gave us that much. Yeah. But uh, it actually, I like the way Disney did it. I love the new look of the Stormtroopers. I hated the old ones so much. It looked weird. But the new ones, it just looked so clean and... Oh, everything it's nice looking it's appealing the environments themselves and all like the monsters everything was practical i mean they had some cg obviously but they used mostly practical effects and i think that made it really just an atmosphere that seemed real you know because the prequels kind of it, especially one and two just there was so much cg in the backgrounds and stuff it kind of felt off but in these movies you know it was yeah all it felt like practical. it was actually there so it was really nice but my favorite character is definitely Ray, just because she's you know she she knows her stuff, but at the same time she's like resistant. She's not sure if she's ready to become a Jedi, but by the end she accepts it and she accepts the Force and everything. And she just seems kind of like that offset character that you wouldn't expect to have that much. Yeah, power. it kind of took a different turn. So I like that. <laughs> and are, we, are we not going to talk about how? Uh... Disney disguised the stormtroopers as Nazis. Yeah, that was great. That I noticed that while I was watching it. <laughs> every, I told you, I told you before you saw it too, yeah. that every general was German. Mm-hmm. They all looked German. They had like those black outfits and the hats, and then they got like well, even their whole facial army. structures. They literally were German people. <laughs> and then behind them, like they were on the stage, and then they had the big red flag with the weird logo. It was totally the, gi- the giant, the giant speech too. Yeah, and then there's. <laughs> Their, their salute just give it all away just it was great oh that my was beautiful. god i was like yeah galactic nazis ladies and gentlemen what did you think beautiful. of the uh silver stormtrooper it's kind of a weird play there um kinda, i don't know if they killed her off yet or i don't think they killed her off because last thing you see is just han solo go, saying um is there a garbage shoot somewhere oh that's right so I don't, I don't think, think they would have killed her off because I feel like she's like, you know, she's like the main general. So I feel like they're going to use her as sort of a Bobo Fett character in the future. But at this point, they showed her as being kind of a weak link because she easily gave up. Like, you know, they put a gun to her head and she gave all the information. Yeah. So it kind of seems like she wouldn't It kind of felt like she had, like, free will, too. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, she was okay. She was a nice, like, addition, but I didn't see any huge potential mm. in that character. I'm surprised we didn't see some kind of a Boba Fett thing. I feel like, like those guys, Boba Fett was the, actually, no, Jango Fett was the creation of the Stormtrooper, of the Clone Troopers. They literally used him. Hmm. They used the uh, Bounty Hunter in Episode 2. Oh, did the I Clone know Wars. But, um, I haven't seen that in a long time. It's, like, one of my favorite ones. But, um... They used Jango Fett as the uh, design for it. Even his suit was the design for the Stormtrooper suit hmm. and everything. And I'm surprised we didn't see anything like that. Yeah. So overall, um, I mean, do you have any other comments? Um, I feel I'm, like there was something I'm forgetting. I'm, prou- I'm proud of Disney. 
Yeah. No singing, no dancing. <laughs> yeah, the special effects looked awesome. That that one shot when they were uh, in the X wing, like above the uh, the forest type yeah. uh, thing, and it just showed that one shot where it showed like Finn shooting people down with the lightsaber, and then it like panned over and showed the X wings, and then you know it was just that one shot. It showed all the action. It was just nicely put together, but it Beautiful. felt a little rushed. It did feel a little rushed. They could have, like, I mean, they could have been dicks and just cut it off at some random point. <laughs> like, um, during like during the battle of Kylo Ren and uh, Rey, they could have cut it off there or at a, some other point. Yeah. Just to keep the storyline longer. Yeah. But uh, I think I think they know what they're doing, so. Yeah. Um, oh, there was something. Oh, Harrison Ford, I think the first time I saw him... His performance was a little off, and I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it just seemed like there was something about him that didn't quite seem and as enthusiastic as I would have thought. But then there's one moment where he's with Finn uh, on the island when they're about to infiltrate, and Finn's like, "Okay, we got to do this." <laughs> and there's just a golden moment that was that was total uh, Han Solo, and Finn's like, "Well, use the Force." He's like. That's not how the force works. <laughs> that was beautiful. I don't know. I felt like he. I felt like Henry Ford did a, or Harrison Ford did a great job coming back and everything. He still has. He the did part. really good for what he had. Yeah, I thought. And but uh, you got you got to remember. Um, at some point on the set, he broke his legs. That's so. True. Uh, Leia, though, I think they could have fleshed out her character a little bit more because I feel like she was just kind of shoehorned in there to establish the fact that uh, Leia and Han like know each other and had a kid and she was just shoehorned in there to to push a little bit more emotion on the whole father son aspect. I like the uh, part where uh, when Han Solo dies and Leia just collapsed, kind of like how Yoda collapsed when he felt the whole force of the younglings go down. Yeah. Like when Anakin was just slaughtering people. How uh, Leia just died inside. Like I totally forgot she had the force at all. Mm-hmm. But like she never true. used it, and it's, it was just a nice bring back. Yeah, it's like a nice uh, memory. Like oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> so overall, score out of ten or five stars, whichever you want. I'd I'd say about four. There's some parts that could out have been. Stars. Yeah, we'll start. <laughs> four out of five stars. There's just some parts that I didn't like, like the whole Kylo Ren storyline. It was. I didn't like that storyline very much. It was too. Uh, just a lot of issues, no real struggle. Mm-hmm. He was just a spoiled kid, being a brat. <laughs> but um, the rest of the storyline was pretty great. I liked the character setup. Everything was nice and clean. Mm-hmm. Just again with Kylo Ren's uh, past, and just it felt a little rushed. I wish there was a little more longer time frame for the battles. Not as mm-hmm. much dialogue, ra- like random dialogue. Yeah. Just kind of rushed. Yeah. I would give it, out of stars, a 4. Out of 10, like an 8.5. It's just a, oh, something else that I just remembered. Um, The soundtrack was beautiful at some points, but I feel like during the lightsaber battles, especially the final one between Ray Finn and Kylo Ren, I feel like the music was just kind of like really low and in the background and the main noise was coming from the characters and the battle itself and yeah. I feel like they should have had more of a Duel of the Fates type you know epic soundtrack in the back yeah kind of like how they do with the uh, other Star Wars movies yeah especially with three episode the three yeah. oh that that fight will forever remain the best lightsaber battle <laughs> that was beautiful but yeah so uh, 8.5 in my opinion I liked it a lot yeah. So that's our review. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, and also there will be a link to his channel in the description. Uh, he does, like, screamo covers of uh, random songs, and we actually did a collaboration, like, a week ago or something like that. So go check that out. That'll ago. be in the description, <laughs> and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.